Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw All Reacts back once again, another reaction for you guys. Today guys, of course, we are continuing Wolverine and the X-Men. This is Season 1, Episode 21, Rover. R-O-V-E-R. -E Rover. Interesting title. I was like, really? That's the title? But it is what it is, because titles don't make or break episodes. What makes or break an episode is the story and all that kind of stuff. The last episode... I think was probably one of the biggest episodes we've had because of the fact that we actually got to see Jean Grey. Even though it was mostly flashbacks in terms of the timeline and everything, and she was younger, and how Cyclops got introduced to her and all that kind of stuff, and how Professor X wanted to take her away from her house to the mansion because Magneto was like trying to really tempt her to join him, which would have been very bad. And just seeing like basically the, the introduction and the beginning of the X-Men and the, the original outfits and everything and the original suits and just seeing how this big moment in the beginning of the show that we really didn't know what happened because Gene and Professor X some sort of explosion something just happened and they both disappeared and that was the beginning and then we jumped to a year later and that's when the show actually starts we had to wait for 19 more episodes after that first the first episode we had to wait 19 more episodes to get to episode 20 to reveal that explosion was Jean because the Phoenix basically revealed itself. And the Phoenix Force rose up and shit went down. Shit went down. And I think it's a nice, a nice surprise. And the way they told the story with Cyclops wanting to, you know, just get away because he's thinking of Jean and it's going to cause someone to get seriously injured or maybe even die. And they found a really cool way to have the flashbacks because... If Frost is going through his memory and trying to find, you know, how it's all connected to Gene and everything, it was really well done. Because a lot of times when we do flashbacks, it, it it feels like it's kind of forced. In this sense, it kind of makes sense why we need flashbacks in terms of Gene and everything. And then that to reveal this is what happened. And he was able to see it because it was so fast. So she had to slow it down and boom, Phoenix Force. So I'm excited to get to the episode. We have a few more episodes left, literally a handful of episodes left. And we're done. It sucks. It sucks, but I'm enjoying the hell out of this journey. I'm so glad I started this show. And uh, let's continue and see what they do with the rest of these episodes. Let's go. Why is she all by herself? Oh, shit. Dark and acquired. Wait. Another headshot rover? Rover? Destroy. <laughs> what? Twist it out of there. Destroy. Destroy. That's all it can say, I guess. Destroy. Just because you've seen me ignore Bishop doesn't mean you can. Rover. Destroy. Rover. Destroy. <laughs> yep. Talk to him. They gotta tell you what happened. You might need to know what happened. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. The Phoenix Force. Oh, the flames. Oh, shit. The war. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? They destroy. <laughs> Just cover them up. <laughs> Just so no one knows. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dang. I mean, that really didn't work, but at least he tried. A whisper. I'm liking this rover. I'm liking this rover character. There's nothing there. Don't look behind the curtain. Oh, 
Oh god. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I was like, oh shit, they, they found you. Now I fear the countdown to zero hour has already begun. Yeah. And the truth about everything. It would possess a record of events dating back to to perhaps even its creation. And then you could tell Wolverine. Uh oh. You're eavesdropping. And his life is worth more than some crazy plan to help him. I don't mean you're it's helping everybody. Oh, <sighs> I bet say she's not gonna respond. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. How long were you held here, Bishop? Most of my life. Damn. It's where I was born. Whoa. Wolverine. He was hunting master. Oh shit. That was cool. You see this claw scratches and stuff. That's cool. Can't get a thing out. Are they leaving? Wow. Wow. Mutant identified. Mutant identified. Yeah, they're not gonna hold. Oh, shit. He's angry. That is badass. That's badass. Destroy? Destroy? <laughs> that was good. Hmm. <laughs> The Sentinels turn around and going, How the fuck did you get in there? Halt, mutant. Halt, mutant. Hey, you came back. Nice. That was good, too. Watch it, watch it. Uh-oh. Alt mutant. Damn. Damn. That was cool. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Destroy. Boom. Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. That was cool. Run. Holy crap. Wow. Oh my god. What? Shit. Tell Master Bolt. I can lead him to Charles Xavier. Oh fuck. Come on. After seeing this episode, I love the title now. I love the title. Rover. Holy crap. Rover was so cool. <laughs> and I feel so bad. I I should have known when they introduced a sentinel that is actually working with them in the future and always says destroy and he says that word in different like tones or whatever destroy 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 even whispers destroy <laughs> it's so funny i should have known they were going to go the direction of rover was going to sacrifice itself not himself because it's not a human it, it's just a robot but sacrifice itself for them for Basically, giving the information they need. And it's so crazy because this episode, I didn't know what to expect going in. And it was another big episode. Because, number one, Xavier now knows. And I'm glad they did this. They didn't waste any time. Xavier knows what exactly happened. It wasn't really the war. It was Gene. Gene destroys everything. It's, it's all Gene. Like, they, wow. <laughs> Such a cool reveal. And actually, they teased it when... They had the flash, uh, the flash forward. I forget what episode it was, but they had uh, Magneto's other daughter. Um, what was her name? Oh shit! What was her name? I gotta look it up. Hold on one second. Lorna. That is the name, aka Polaris. I think I was saying Polaris, and I think that was like the incorrect pronunciation how to say it. But they teased it in the flash forward when Xavier saw in her mind what happened to Genosha and what happened to Magneto. Fire. 
I had I didn't see the connection. I didn't see the connection, but that is such a cool way to tease and kind of hint. But you have no idea that that's what they're hinting, unless you know you instantly thought, "Oh, Phoenix!" when you saw fire. But like, it didn't connect for me. Holy shit! But so Xavier knows. So they go through this whole mission in the flash forwards, which you know the flash forwards have been pretty interesting in terms of the story. But I've I've, I've always been more interested in the present, just because they're having to try to prevent all this and they're trying to go through basically trying to stop this war and slow it down or prevent it or whatever they have to do. Like there's so much stuff going on because they have to change the future. So it's a lot of pressure on the present. What's going on with the X-Men. So, but with this, it was so damn cool because the fight sequences in the future were so like, so awesome. They were so cool. And having them go to the original, original Sentinel base that had master molds, like old, like, tech and old like machinery that gave them the information of when exactly this all happens because right now in the present they have no idea when things are going to get bad and it turns out it's not in a couple of months it's not in a couple of years it's literally i think they said eight days it is right around the corner and the thing is and and i found this fascinating and so interesting because i did not expect xavier to go this direction in terms of his instructions to wolverine but when wolverine and cyclops were both talking to xavier he froze cyclops he froze him so that they could talk privately wolverine and professor x the truth is is that it's actually not the warts gene because gene was like her her mind was racing and she's in this state of like things are just getting a little too hectic and xavier didn't really know the true the true range of her her powers, her abilities. And then the Phoenix rose up in that crucial moment that made her and Professor X disappear for a year. And they still have not found Jean in the present yet. And they're going to have to get to that. They're going to have to now because it's because of her why everything goes the way it goes. Like crazy. And then telling, telling Wolverine, Professor X says, do what you have to. Like, Understanding that Wolverine might make a decision that will greatly affect people's lives in terms of the X-Men. And we know what that means. I don't think they're going to go that direction. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I could be wrong, but that would be a very ballsy move if this show went the direction. And it's a kid's show, so I don't know if they would actually do it. But to go the direction of Wolverine might have to, might have to sacrifice her. Or she might even understand she can't. She like it can't be stopped. I don't know because if they go a direction of where it cannot be stopped and Wolverine has to make that decision, it's it that's a crazy a crazy uh story point. I'm said reveal. It's not really a reveal because the reveal is like some big surprise. Like, but if we're leading up to that and it could go either way, I think it's gonna get to the point where it can go either way. We don't know what's gonna happen. I hope we see the outcome of it because we only have a couple episodes left. So I would assume that it's gonna be covered in this season. I would hope. I would hope. Holy crap. Just seeing all the fight sequences in, in the future with Rover. Just, and it w- I, was, I wasn't shocked that her name's Mero, right? Yeah, Mero. I wasn't surprised that she wasn't a too uh, fond of Professor X in this episode because they've already you know established that before where she felt like they shouldn't be risking their lives for him because they're, they're all coming after him, all the Sentinels and everything. And Master Mold, they're coming after Professor X. Of course they are. He's a very powerful mutant. He was supposed to be dead. And he's alive. So, of course, you know, it's very it's very risky, you know, having him. But they need to have him there so he can go talk to Wolverine and whoever in the present. Well, in the present timeline, his past 20 years, <laughs> 20 years in the in the in the in the past. So they, they need they need to coordinate and work together because Professor, Professor X could not be doing this all by himself with what's happening now in the future. He couldn't. He needs that team. He needs those people to help him out. So that was good, and, and it was a it was quite surprising. Not really, but I was actually kind of shocked they they went as far as they did in terms of Marrow with Rover just leaving them behind. I'm like, oh god! Like I figured they were going to turn around, but I was surprised they because I was thinking, okay, she's going to make the distraction, and then it's going to be all mayhem and shit. But it was all mayhem. But she actually did walk away for a good bit. I wonder if Rover, like, in his own way, pushed her to to turn back. He was kicking ass. Rover was kicking ass and taking names. He kept saying destroy, and then the one other, the one time he says another word, he says run. Interesting. Interesting. And I like the little moment where she's like reading in a book and she's trying to tell him, like, say these words, try to repeat this after me, like trying to get him, try, trying to teach him 
new words because all he says is destroy, destroy, destroy. <laughs> I just love all the different ways they did that. I know I've already said that, but it's just, it was just funny. Um, the ending with her telling the Sentinels, I'll tell you where Professor X is. That is fucked up. Not surprised though, but you do realize that Master Mold is not going to spare you just because you're telling information that Master Mold and the Sentinels need to know. She's still going to get captured. It was a cool little reveal, too, about how Wolverine actually took care of Bishop. I think they already mentioned that previously, about a little bit about it, but they actually went in a little more detail and actually showed him a little bit into the future of the timeline and everything. <sighs> We're getting so much closer to the end, and I'm not prepared for it, because this was such a cool episode. And it sucks that literally we only have five more. Yeah, five. And we're done. I think I'm counting it right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. 26, that's it. That's crazy. Because like literally we could have had a season two. And they were going to do a season two. Jesus. But all we can really do is be appreciative that we have at least 26 episodes of this show. Because this show is doing a great job. I'm loving it. I really am loving it. So... What you guys think of the episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Whatever thoughts you have about this episode, let me know in the comments below. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.